Happy New Year and welcome to the Air Gun Show. In this week's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at a brilliant spring powered air rifle from Viroc. But first up, let's kick off the new year with a night session on the rats. Right, well, as you can probably tell by the backdrop and also from the noise of the tractors in the barn behind me, I'm out on the farm tonight and I'm going to be targeting rats. Now, I was actually here a few nights ago and it went fairly well. I had a few shots. It's getting colder now, so the rats are moving into the farmyard area. Obviously, they're seeking out easy food and shelter. Um, one problem that I did have, though, was that the rats were quite skittish and reluctant to settle. So what I've done tonight while we're waiting for it to get dark is put down a few bait spots. And what I've got is um, liquidized bread that I've put through a food processor to make it really fine so that rats have to stop if they're going to have a decent feed. And I've put it along promising looking runs. There's quite a lot of wet mud here and we've been able to find ratty footprints that have sort of steered me in the right direction. So I've put down those spots in the hope that the rats will settle on them and I'll get nice steady shots at a static target. Kit wise, the gun is the FX Dynamic Compact and as the name implies, it's a nice compact air gun, very accurate. Most significantly tonight, it's multi-shot. So obviously shooting in the dark, it just does away with the fumbling around to reload. Uh, sub 12 foot pound, 2.2 caliber. Uh, optics, that's the infrared tube TD70L V2, which is a really nice digital day and night scope from Scott Country. Um, I've already used it a few times on rabbits. I think we have done a rabbiting video with it, and I think this is the first ratting session that we're going to actually video. So it'll be nice to show you what it can do in this context. So I'm going to get loaded up now. We'll wait for it to get properly dark, and hopefully shoot a few rats. That's what we want, and that one was definitely on one of my bait spots. Now, it was only about 13 meters, but I've actually got the, the zoom on the tube set quite high this evening, so I'm hoping that that can just show you the sort of image quality that it's capable of. Well, that one made a heck of a mess of both sacks. A pellet hit it like a sledgehammer. In fact, I don't think I, I mentioned the ammo when I was talking about the kit. So tonight I'm running the Dynamic on a JTS dead center 16 grain pellets. They're from the shooting party. It's really, really accurate with them and it delivers one heck of a wallop, especially at these close ranges.
Well, that one seemed to be taking a very close interest in the rat that I'd shot previously. And I did actually notice another rat milling around in the undergrowth when I shot that one. So that, that could well have been it. Now, the spot that I've picked tonight is, is brilliant, actually. We're, we're in a barn, so we've got plenty of cover, although it's supposed to stay dry tonight. But what I can see from here, obviously there's that area of cover. There are also the feed sacks. We've got a recently vacated cattle pen and also just sort of general farmyard junk. So it's a very ratty area. And most of the shots that I'm likely to be taking here are gonna be between 10 and 20 meters. So I much prefer to be a bit more methodical and shoot from shoot one area at a time quite intensively like this rather than just wandering around looking for rats. I think it's more effective and also it just makes for much more comfortable shooting. Another one from that spot of cover then and that pellet literally flung it backwards when it connected now it is definitely slowing down a little bit now although it's never really been absolutely manic tonight but I'm hopeful we'll still get one or two more that one definitely appeared to be having a nibble at some of those breadcrumbs now I know I did say just now that it was slowing down a bit but I think I will just give it a little bit longer One from under some of that junk there now that one wasn't on a bait spot but a few of them have been tonight so I think it has been worth the effort and I am going to make that one the last one because it's getting late and I've got an early start in the morning now as I said I've just been using plain breadcrumbs for those spots but it would be quite interesting to experiment with different flavorings you know try sweet stuff try savory stuff maybe try something fishy it's definitely something I'm going to do in the future um, most importantly though the kit has performed ever so well we haven't had a hell of a lot of chances tonight but it has enabled me to make the absolute most of the opportunities that have cropped up and i'm sure that the farmer is going to be very happy
Not a bad night out on the rats there. Next up, I'm taking a look at another fantastic spring-powered air gun from Virac. It's easy to get complacent when you're testing different air guns week in, week out, but this one has been an absolute pleasure to shoot. It's the Virac HW97 KT. Now, UK distributor Hull Cartridge states a recommended retail price of £655, which, although not cheap, I actually think is pretty good when you consider that this is one of the finest spring-powered air guns that money can buy. So, this air rifle boasts fixed barrel accuracy and excellent German engineering. It's about 101 centimetres long and weighs 4.2 kilos. Now, that may sound fairly substantial, but that extra heft really does a great job of soaking up what little recoil this air gun produces. Now, it's housed inside a really handsome beach thumbhole stock and it just feels great in the shoulder. A nice feature of this stock is the high cheek piece which has been designed to give really good eye scope alignment and it certainly does that. Now there is also a synthetic stock version which costs significantly less but it doesn't have the height adjustable butt pad that you get on this model and it's a feature that I really like. The HW97KT stock is ambidextrous, but there doesn't feel to be any compromise in its fit. Now, as I've said, it's of a thumb hole design and that incorporates a nicely contoured pistol grip that really fills the palm. Now, it's, it cradles your hand to give very good trigger attack and it also features some really grippy stippling. Large panels of the same stippling are also present on the forend. Now, apart from being really crisp, that stippling also looks great. It's a kind of wood effect and it really suits this stock. Now, the forend has lovely flowing lines and it's nice and long, so you're never at a loss for a hold point for your leading hand. I've already mentioned this air gun's German engineering and I've got to say that the build quality is remarkable as is the flawless finish of the metalwork. Now, this model has a 30 centimeter barrel, and as you can see, that's capped with a muzzle weight. And I've got to say, I also think that it does uh, provide just a bit of sound suppression too. The cylinder is machined with dovetail rails for scope mounting, and they also feature three holes to accept a recoil arrestor pin. Not that I think this gun's gonna give you any problems with scope creep as long as you're using decent mounts. Now, those rails give you about 21 centimeters of clamping space, which should be more than enough room to keep most optics well clear of the loading port. Beneath the barrel weight is the retainer for the cocking lever. Now, press the button to release it, and it draws down with a really smooth, almost silent stroke to cock the spring. Now, that cocking stroke concludes with a nice positive click, setting the automatic safety catch, which is positioned at the rear of the cylinder. As you would expect, loading is direct to the breech and there's an anti-bear trap mechanism to keep your fingers safe. Now, the breech is exposed by the cocking stroke and that loading port gives you plenty of room. It's actually surprising how quickly you can reload this air gun once you get the knack for it. Now, when you've loaded it up, simply snap the underlever back into its retainer and you're ready to shoot. Virac triggers need no introduction and the HW97K is equipped with a match standard version of the famous Record unit. Now the blade has been given a bit of gold bling. It's got a nice gentle curve and a wide grooved face. Now it is a two stage unit and it's adjustable, but I chose to use this one on its factory setting, which was terrific. The first stage felt just right. It came to a very clear stop before a crisp and utterly predictable second stage break. This is a full power air rifle and the 2.2 caliber test gun was churning out around 11.2 foot pounds with a variation staying within eight feet per second over a 10 shot string. And that was with Virac FT exact jumbo pellets 
taken straight from the tin. Now, apart from having a pretty consistent power output, this air gun also has a very smooth, fast firing cycle with minimal twang, and what little recoil there is comes straight back into your shoulder. That consistency and smooth shooting combines with the precision of a fixed barrel to deliver some pretty impressive accuracy. Now this air gun can compete with a PCP as long as you do your bit. Plus, you don't have the hassle and expense of charging kit to worry about. On the range, I was soon printing cloverleaf groups at 30 meters without too much trouble and smacking reactive targets at 40 meters pretty much a formality. So that is the Virac HW97KT, a truly excellent fixed barrel spring powered air gun which should give years of brilliant service with minimal maintenance. Now I think it's a beautiful looking air gun but it's also a top performer. It's got the punch and precision to make easy work of pest control but its level of performance and refinement means that in the right hands, it's also more than capable of picking up some high-end silverware in the toughest of HFT competition. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for in this week's episode, but as ever, I'll be back again with more in a fortnight. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you check out the link in the show description, it'll take you to the Airgun World 2024 Buyer's Guide, which contains listings of virtually every air rifle and pistol on sale in the UK. So if you've still got some Christmas money burning a hole in your pocket, there could well be something in there for you. Also, if you aren't already a member of the BASC, have a look at their website and check out the benefits that you could be taking advantage of through Airgun membership. Now, most importantly, may I wish you a happy, healthy 2024 from myself and the rest of the Airgun Show team. The British Shooting Show has free parking and a free program. For those of you who've never been, it's not just a trade show. There is a huge list of retailers that go to, so everything you see from a manufacturer, you can go and buy pretty much at a stand next door.